Welcome to spooky season time travelers, Halloween in the 1980s was a wild ride. Unlike the modern day festivities, gone are the days when our parents would just send us off alone into the dark unknown. But if you're yearning for an 80s Halloween, you come to the right place. I'm Kevin, and today we're diving headfirst into the perfect 80s Halloween starter pack. Of course, this is just my take on it, and if you've got your own ideas, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. Alright, what's Halloween without the perfect snack, am I right? We had some epic choices back in the day. Would you go for the McDonald's Boo Bucket Happy Meal? Or perhaps something else? For me, it's all about Count Chocula. Don't be scared. I'm the super sweet monster with the super sweet new cereal, Count Chocula. Biffle, here's the super sweet new cereal, Frankenberry. From the Monster Cereals by General Mills. This chocolate-loving vampire with cereal and marshmallows was ideal and perfect for the October treat. And if that wasn't awesome enough, sometimes you even got a rad record with it. Count Chocula goes to Hollywood. Monster Mansion, where Frankenberry, Booberry, and Count Chocula anxiously await the arrival of the mailman. I mean, what more could you ask for? Now let's talk about tunes to set the mood for our Halloween journey. While the 80s didn't offer a ton of Halloween-specific songs, we absolutely cannot ignore the juggernaut of Thriller by the King of Pop himself, Michael Jackson. <laughs> It's a classic that's still grooving its way through Halloween playlists. One of the most significant aspects of Thriller is its groundbreaking music video. Directed by John Landis, the video is a mini-movie that features elaborate choreography, special effects, and horror-themed elements. The video, which runs over 13 minutes, is known for its iconic dance sequence with zombies and Michael Jackson's transformation into a werewolf. It became a cultural phenomenon and is often credited with revolutionizing music videos. Thriller had a profound impact on pop culture. The iconic dance moves, including the zombie dance, have been imitated and parodied countless times. That red jacket worn by Michael Jackson in the video became an iconic fashion statement. Due to its horror theme, Thriller has become synonymous with Halloween and it's often played during the holiday season and it continues to be a popular choice for Halloween parties and events. Now you can't have an 80s Halloween without a spine-tingling flick. Sure, you got Elvira, Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers, Beetlejuice, and even Gremlins even though that's technically a Christmas movie, come on people. But I've got a hidden gem for you, Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat is a horror film from the 1980s that was released in 1986. It's a cult classic among horror fans and has gained a dedicated following over the years. The movie was directed by Charles Martin Smith and features a screenplay written by Rhett Toppin. Now the plot of Trick or Treat revolves around a high school student named Eddie Weinbauer, played by Mark Price. Eddie is a big fan of the recently deceased rock star Sammy Kerr, portrayed by Tony Fields who was known for his heavy metal music. When Eddie's idol Sammy Kerr dies, he is devastated. However, he comes into possession of a rare, unreleased record by Sammy. Eddie then discovers that the record holds supernatural powers, and he begins to play it backward, inadvertently summoning the spirit of Sammy Kerr from the grave. Sammy returns as a vengeful spirit, 
and chaos ensues as he wreaks havoc on the town, targeting those who wronged him during his lifetime. The film combines elements of supernatural horror with heavy metal music and the culture of the 1980s, making it a unique and memorable entry into the horror genre. Trick or Treat is known for its dark humor, heavy metal soundtrack, and over-the-top horror elements. The film also features cameos by real-life rock stars Ozzy Osbourne and Gene Simmons, adding to its appeal among fans of the rock and metal music. While Trick or Treat wasn't a major box office success upon its initial release, it has since gained a cult following and is considered a nostalgic and fun piece of 1980s cinema. So for Halloween, that's my pick. Cartoons, my friends. Cartoons. We've got to have some spooky cartoons in the mix. While Scooby-Doo has been around forever, its impact on the 80s was undeniable. But for my personal pick, I'm going with Real Ghostbusters, starring Slimer and the gang. Real Ghostbusters is an animated television series that originally aired from 1986 to 1991. The show is based on the movie Ghostbusters and its sequel Ghostbusters 2. The animated series was titled The Real Ghostbusters to distinguish it from another animated series that was airing around the same time called Filmation's Ghostbusters. Let's go, Ghostbusters! <laughs> The decision to add The Real to the title was made to avoid confusion between the two shows, which were unrelated, but shared a similar premise involving ghost-catching teams. Them. This time I'm really gonna... Whoa, Peter, take it easy. I'll discipline Slimer. For shame, Slimer. You've been a naughty ghosty. Naughty. Naughty. Come on, Ray, he's been a major pain. Filmation's Ghostbusters was based on a live-action series from the 70s, and featured characters like Jake Kong Jr., Eddie Spencer Jr., who used a talking gorilla named Tracy to combat supernatural threats. And it's completely different from the Ghostbusters franchise that originated with the 1984 film. To prevent any legal disputes over viewer mix-ups between the two animated series, the creators of the real Ghostbusters chose to include the real in the title. Brothers, I think the problem is we're too good. We already bagged every ghost in town. I agree. We may have put ourselves right out of business. <sighs> All right, the next thing we're gonna need for our perfect 80s Halloween is a costume. Now, when it comes to costumes, you've got to embrace the absurdity of the 80s. Think basic masks and plastic outfits that barely resemble famous characters. What's cool this year in Halloween costumes? Madonna, Chuck Norris, Minnie Mouse. As you can see, everyone has their own opinion, but it seems that cartoon characters, superheroes, and rock stars are the most popular costumes for today's trick-or-treaters. Kids seem to have different uh, standards of heroes now. It's just on TV, whoever the hero is at the time is who they idolize, I guess, and want to be at the time they can be it once a year. The cheesier, the better. And it's all about creativity, or lack thereof in this case. Alternatively, you can do a DIY route with the classic hobo or ghost. Now that we got our costume, we're gonna need some Halloween specials. Similar to the cartoons, we've got those wonderfully specific Halloween specials. You can't go wrong with the great pumpkin Charlie Brown, even though you know that came out before the 80s. But for me, it was all about Garfield and his hilarious Halloween escapades. Get your lazy bottoms out of bed and do jumping jacks with Mickey the Clown! One, two, 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 navigating the spooky season. Garfield's Halloween adventure was where it's at. <coughs> Here's John's first bow tie, tacky. Some sunglasses, Cousin Wanda's wig, Aunt Orpha's false teeth, yuck, Roy Ogle's roots, strings, stealing wax, and all that funny stuff. Well, I guess there's nothing here. 
Very funny, Odie. Come on, let's keep looking. Now that we have our night planned, we're gonna need to go trick-or-treating. And there are some rules in the 1980s for trick-or-treating. You absolutely need a pillowcase for your candy. They're durable, they can hold a massive amount of the sugary loot, and most importantly, they make it super easy to grab those pesky raisins or apples and ditch them on the go. Ain't nobody got time for healthy treats on Halloween. So there you have it, the ultimate 80s Halloween starter pack. I hope this trip down memory lane has brought back some spooktacular memories and given you some inspiration for your own retro Halloween celebrations. Remember, these are just my picks, and I'd love to hear about your favorite 80s Halloween memories in the comments below. Until next time, stay rad and keep that Halloween spirit alive. Thanks for joining me on Retro Renaissance.